Whether you want to create a quiz to capture new leads and add them to your email list or to boost engagement inside of your online courses or digital products, or even if you want to just survey an audience and collect some intel to help you create better quality products down the road, Kajabi has a great feature called assessment. And essentially, the assessments are just quizzes. But today, I'm going to walk you through behind the scenes how to set this up, what it looks like, and the different features and ways that you can apply this to your business. If you want to take advantage of a free 30-day trial of Kajabi to play with the platform yourself, you can use my link profityourknowledge.com slash Kajabi. This is an affiliate link, so I get a small percentage of your investment in Kajabi, but there's no extra cost to you compared to if you went through Kajabi's website yourself. All this does is simply support me and this channel for referring someone to Kajabi. But when you sign up with my link, I'm gonna give you instant access to a course I created called Kajabi Kickstart, which is gonna help you set up and launch your online business with Kajabi in that first 30 days. On top of that, when you're inside of Kajabi Kickstart, you will have access to a free 45 minute coaching session with me where you and I both get to deep dive into your Kajabi account and I will be there to answer any questions you have about Kajabi, marketing, or even making your first sale with the platform. All of this is free and you can get instant access by going to profityourknowledge.com slash Kajabi or clicking the link down in the description. Without further ado, let's dive into Kajabi. To get started creating your first assessment inside of Kajabi, we want to go over to the contacts tab and then down to assessments. From here, we're going to have create your first assessment. This is what it will look like if you're brand new. Click get started. That'll take us over here and we're going to title our assessment. So we'll call this uh, assessment one. We'll just call it something like that and we'll say this is my first assessment. Okay, obviously you'll create a description of what it actually is, what the title is, and this is gonna show up when you actually send this to people to fill it out. So for example, if you were gonna say, um, you know, looking to, if you were like collecting information, for example, uh, to do a survey with your email list or your audience, you can have some sort of survey as the name and then the description, like this is to help us create better products for you down the road. Or if it's an online quiz, you could have a benefit-driven title, something like, um, take this quiz to find out what type of entrepreneur you are or what body type you have if you're a fitness coach. And then you can explain a little bit more in the description down below. Right here, we have this little button, automatically grade assessments. This applies more if you are going to have an online course, you have people inside of it, and at a certain point or points, if you want people to take a quiz to make sure that they actually understand the information, let's say after each module of your course, then you can create a short assessment and have a passing grade. It could be 50% or it could be 80% is what they have to get as a bare minimum to pass that assessment. So it kind of gamifies your course or your program a little bit. That's entirely up to you. It depends on the purpose. Again, if you're having it as a part of your program, I think it's I think it's valuable. I think it's good to add this. If it's more of a quiz to just capture leads, I would probably just keep it off because you're just trying to get information. Uh, it doesn't. There's no real pass or fail. You know, it's just kind of getting their information. So once you're set up in here, we're gonna hit save, and that's gonna take us over to this little page right here. After a submission, you can decide if you want to send a completion email with a link to the results. Uh, this goes out to the person. You can click on that and then you can adjust what the actual email uh, template says if you click on this, but nine times out of 10, it's pretty just standard. So I would just, I mean, you could just leave it. It's up to you. And you can send a completion email to your team as soon as somebody fills it out. So you would just put in your email or your assistant's email or whatever it is inside of your business. That way, you know, every time someone fills out the quiz or the assessment, you get notified for it or someone on your team. So those are optional, it's entirely up to you. You can always change the title of the assessment here and the description like we did in that previous section and you can decide again if you wanna automatically grade the assessment. Results breakdown preference, click here. Always show assessment results breakdown. This is for people who are taking the quiz. Uh, always hide assessment results breakdown. 
And then hide results break down unless the assessment result is a passing grade. So it's kind of customizable, the look and feel of what you want this to be. Again, if you're creating a quiz for a lead magnet or something like that, I would just leave it as hide the results breakdown because it doesn't really matter. But if it's a online course, um, you're adding that module or that kind of quiz in between your course lessons, you can decide if you want to do it. All right, down here we have the language. So this is when someone's going to start the online course. Uh, click the button below to start. You can change that or just leave it. That's what Kajabi automatically gives you. And then you've completed this assessment or this quiz. You can change that too as well. It's up to you. Down here <clears throat> we have automations. So you can click add an automation. And Kajabi makes automations really simple. I'll make a different video where I actually go into more depth on the automations, but it is pretty straightforward. When the assessment is completed, assessment one in this case, then you can click this down arrow and you can have a list of different things you want to grant this person. Let's say that you, know, you were going to survey your email list and you wanted them to fill out the survey and you give something in return that was a bit more enticing. Maybe you wanted to give them a coupon for actually filling it out so they can get 20% off of a product of yours or they can get 50 bucks off or $10 off. You can go down to create a single use coupon and as soon as someone fills out this assessment or this quiz, they're going to get rewarded with a little coupon. Then they can go invest in a course or a product of yours. Okay, just an idea. You can send an email, add a tag, which is always good. Remove a tag, um, register to an event, subscribe them to an email sequence. This is great if you have a quiz that is a lead magnet. And as soon as people fill out that quiz, you want them to automatically get put into an email funnel that you may have, like a welcome sequence then you can add them or have them subscribe to that email sequence right away. Or at the end of an email sequence, you can unsubscribe them from some email sequence as well. Okay, so it's really up to you what you want to do. There are a ton of different options. Uh, you can even grant them an offer, take away an offer, uh, deactivate from an offer. Okay, a lot of different options. Add condition, this basically gives you an if, quote unquote, to the automation flow. So when the assessment is complete, this assessment, then this happens. And then the condition is if. So it could be like they can subscribe to this email sequence after the quiz if they don't have any of these products. And then you can decide what products. Okay, it's a bit more advanced. Also, you only get this advanced um, automation feature if you're on the growth plan, which is the recommended uh, most popular plan that they have. It's the one that I'm on, obviously. That's why I can show you that. Okay, so once you set all this stuff up the way you like it, hit save. And now we can actually change up the questions. So we'll just click here to edit questions. Obviously right now there are no questions. We just click this little box and you get a handful of different options. You can do multiple choice, a paragraph where it's more they type and fill out their thoughts, file upload, multiple section, or just section. So let's say multiple choice. You can type in the new question so you can write, you know, I'm not gonna come up with a whole quiz right now, uh, whatever you want. Or you can say, which do you prefer? And then you can add whatever answer you want. And you can even select tags as well. Pretty interesting. Okay, you can remove answers and it would just give you these little bullet points right there. Okay, and then we'll go back and you can add a new question. Let's say we wanted to add a paragraph question. If this was a survey, you could do mostly um, bullet points or like this, the little multiple choice. And you can have fill up this whole entire thing. I'd recommend like three or four different options. And then at the end, you can say, I'd love to hear your thoughts. Just tell me whatever you want and make it optional where they can kind of free write whatever they want. Um, write out your thoughts. Okay, obviously just an example. And then right here, you can do multiple selection, we'll say. Okay, so you can kind of play around with these different features to see what makes sense to you. Hit save. And this is basically what our assessment kind of looks like so far. Obviously, it's very rough. But let's say that you wanted to move this around or you wanted to have the bullet point be last then you or the multiple choice be last. You can do that as well. If you're like, oh, actually, I kind of want to change this down to here. You can do all of that. Just make sure that you save every time. To preview your quiz, you can either click this button right here to go to preview or you can always click right here. 
show me this. Okay, it looks very basic. It's very simple. Uh, they don't have a whole lot of features as far as I know for making it look more pretty. Uh, but I think the most important thing is that you get the information. Okay, and then right here, after you've had a handful of people actually fill out the results, you can click view results. Obviously, there are no submissions yet because I just set this up, but this is where you'll be able to see it. So you'll see people's name, their email, whatever information you want to collect. And uh, to actually have people fill out a form, you would just have to go to the marketing tab and then go down to forms right there and you can create a new form and get set up with that. All right. But that's essentially how you create assessments. Again, they're great if you wanna do a quiz to entice people to join your email list or if you want to add them inside of your online course or even just survey a, your email list or your audience. Great, great feature to add to your repertoire as an online business owner. Again, if you wanna try out Kajabi yourself, get a free 30-day trial, an online course from me that walks you through how to set up your online business in Kajabi in that 30 days and a one-on-one -on -one coaching call, then check out my link, profityourknowledge.com slash Kajabi. It's all free. It gets you set up and hopefully you stick around. And I'll get a small commission just for helping you find out about Kajabi and actually use Kajabi. All right. I love this platform. It does amazing things for me and my business makes my life a whole lot easier. And I know it can do the same for you. Let me know what you think about assessments. Do you like them? Do you not like them uh, down in the comment section? I would love to hear your thoughts about this. If you have more questions that maybe I didn't cover in this, I'll figure it out and I'll make a new video for you. I just need to know what it actually is. All right, take what you learned here, consider trying it out, check out my link. For the most part, that's about it. I will see you in the next one.